In the beginning, water covered everything. The crawfish said he would make the land appear by dipping his tail into the mud. Ew! Gross. Guys, be quiet. I'm trying to listen. Okay, okay, Scout. Let me continue. The land is formed through the hard work of our elders. With them, we became respectful, gained wisdom, and humility. Mrs. Waktu? Yes, Scout. Oh no, Mrs. Waktu, I'm so sorry. I just really want to know some more stories about Haka. My mother said that he... Scout, you're such a resourceful little girl. Sometimes there's just no end to the story and sometimes it just goes on and history gets woven in together. Come on, sweetie. It's time to go. I can't believe it. I won't get to know the rest of the story. Why do you always come so late? Go find your brother and get in the car. What am I going to do with her? She's very interested in our culture. She's just a little aggressive. Maybe you just need to let her play outside more and don't tell her any more stories about the boogeyman. I had a momentary lapse of judgment. I honestly thought she could handle it. Mm -hmm. I mean, Ao Thomas, he was so proud when he was little and he loved the food and the culture and the boogeyman stories. So I just thought if I brought him back that maybe... He would reconnect? You're doing a good job, don't worry. But don't be afraid to ask for help. Thank you. No, hurry on out. I got a husband to go home and feed and you, want, you don't want to find those two kids tearing at each other's throats. Scout, stop. Scout, I said knock it off. Why do you always take things that are mine? Because I said stop. You two ready to go? Do you know why I call your brother Ao? No. Tell me. Well, when Thomas was really little, he used to run around with his arms out because he thought he was an eagle. Till one day, he climbed all the way to the top of your Aunt Rosa's barn and jumped off. He fell into a stack of hay, but still... But what? I broke my arm. You always do this. You, you bring up an old memory that needs to fade and try to turn it into some meaningful lesson about how I should be proud of my heritage. I should eat our food and speak our language. Just let me be me for fuck's sake. Thomas! Mama? honey. Oh, thank you. Why don't you go ahead and go watch TV, okay? What? I gotta go back into work. What, this late? Yes, this late. It's the wild animal. We gotta set it parameters. 
I'll watch Scout. Thank you. Hey, Hutch. My bad. I didn't mean to scare you. It's all right. I didn't hear you come in. I'm sorry. Do you want some? No, I'm fine. Thank you. I don't need any more caffeine. That board's enough to keep me awake tonight. How are the kids? They're good. Thomas is being a teenager, I guess. And Scout? Well, Scout is being Scout. Were all the other males in the surrounding areas white also? Yeah, all white. What a shame. <laughs> Thomas? Teenager? I remember when he was in lock use class, he'd come to the office and tell us about all the stories about what he learned there. That's Scout now. Have you heard if the feds are backing out? They're leaving this weekend. They think it's some sort of rabid serial killer. Hmm. But isn't that so strange? Strange. What? No tracks. None at all. Not a hoof, not a paw, or even a boot mark. So you're agreeing with the feds? You think a person did this? A person did this? I do. They remind you that story about Haku Vent, Haku Van. Haka? Yeah. Hell, even my kids at St. Mary's is talking about him. <laughs> no. no. It's a myth. A boogeyman. It's a skinwalker creature that eats people. It's what we tell our children to get them to eat their vegetables. Well, crazier shit has happened. Wasn't a curse created by another tribe? But it's not real. Well, think about it. They're hostile, aggressive, white eyes that lurk at you and watch you try to decipher it, their existence. They don't even show up in pictures. Now that's a boogeyman. It explains the no footprints, always changing shape from human to animal. Awful cold tonight. I think I'm going to check on the children. Awfully cold night. I'm going to go check on the kids. Scout? Honey, where are you? Scout? Hey, Mama's looking for you. Scout? Where are you?